What's up, y'all? Um, so about the last couple of videos, they've been uploading very late. Hopefully, this video is out um, in a timely manner as well, and that those videos are also out by the time this video is out. I don't know what you know the issue is. Again, I should really, I should at this point, I should just get the Ethernet cable and stop like complaining because it's been doing well when it comes to uploading for the past like two weeks or two weeks, but um. You know, these last, what, two videos or so, maybe even this video, have just not been doing too well in terms of uploading on time. But I'm not going to, you know, just, I don't know, I'm not going to stress too much about it. Um, I don't like how it kind of looks appearance-wise because now there's a gap all of a sudden. And it's not like, you know, I can explain to everybody that like, hey... Oh, they uploaded late. I mean, I can just sit here in this video and I can make like a kind of like a post on YouTube or whatever to the subscribers. And then one thing that kind of bugs me about it is that the last video before this one got a lot more views. And so that means a lot more new watchers and whatnot. And then that video is out. You know, that video has like, you know, almost 2000 views. And then, you know, they have to wait. They end up waiting like a day or two days for uh, a new video when the thing says daily calisthenics it's supposed to come out every day but i guess i can't always rely on my connection um to get me through every single day as i've seen in the past so at this point i should just get an ethernet uh ethernet cable for my ipad another thing is um not another thing but you know just in general this this is a good workout this was a really good session um i did well, weighted dips so it was a pushing session uh focus on waiting weighted dips everything else was just kind of like secondary to um the dip so uh the dips were three sets 50 pounds each five reps um it was i guess like you know my five rep max and then um everything else had about two sets um i mean that's about all i have to explain um at some point I do want to get to a 120 pound dip for five reps. So, you know, right now I'm only at 50. So I have a good couple of ways to go. So I'll see kind of how it goes when it comes to getting strength um, and even like hypertrophy results when it comes to um, the weighted dips. Also, another thing I want to mention is that I have school starting uh, the day after um, you know, this video or the day after I'm recording this video. Um, and that's, that's very interesting. Uh, I wonder how it might affect my upload schedule. Um, because last quarter when I was doing daily calisthenics, um, first, the first go around, it kind of ended up messing up my, um, uploading, but you know, that could have been because like, you know, I didn't, I didn't have like a proper plan and things like that. So, uh, yeah, but now I'm kind of, um, now I kind of, I'm kind of in a groove. I'm kind of, I kind of know what to do now. And another thing, uh, that I'm kind of worried about is I guess like my sleep schedule, like a lot of projects had me up really late at night, uh, just working on them. And you know, that of course can affect my workouts the day, uh, the day after, but I feel like I should be doing pretty well in general. Um, I feel like I've built up a pretty good work capacity um, just by doing like, you know, daily, um, like daily full body. So I don't feel like it should affect my workouts too much uh, personally, but you know, in general, I just have to watch out for that. And I am gonna have to probably tweak things here and there just to kind of uh, fit my school schedule and you know what I might be uh, packed with for you know this upcoming ten weeks. With my new schedule, I probably won't have to spend like all day at school like how I had to do before. Like, and what's crazy is that like, with my last schedule, school schedule for last uh, quarter, my Mondays and Wednesdays we literally spent all day. Like, I would wake up. And then 20 minutes later, I had to leave the house to go to school. And then I wouldn't come back home till probably like 830. And especially the traffic, right? Since it's like downtown, 
uh, 40 minutes probably or sometimes 50 minutes there just depending on traffic and everything like that and then on the way back there could be traffic it was just crazy bro it's like and then i would still like have to like work out and stuff and i feel like i guess maybe when it came to the workouts uh i don't think i can film myself in the uh in the school gym so that's like a reason why i would have to work out so like you know so much later and i feel like that kind of caused me to either push back my workouts or push back my um my assignments me doing my assignments but you know hopefully this time you know uh since it's kind of like a second chance maybe i can probably better manage everything um just to kind of see how things are and most of my classes are dealing with uh digital media so i won't have to um like have like some type of big plastic board or poster board or you know some type of you know big sketchbook that i have to carry around for every other day for whichever classes that just take up space and time to um to carry you know i probably won't have to have my like a heavy book bag for forever and i don't know one thing is crazy is like one thing i just realized about book bags bro like this video isn't about anything or whatever it's just me talking to be honest so with book bags like i've basically been in a book bag my entire life like i've graduated high school and i had a year off from from uh from school so i didn't go to college after high school i took a gap year and I, I had a book bag. I had a book bag at work. And I have a book bag going to school. I've had a book bag ever since I've been born, basically, right? Like, I've been going to pre-K, then kindergarten, then primary school, then middle school, high school. Now I'm in college. Even at my job, I'm always carrying a book bag. Like, that's just one thing. This is crazy. Like, you'll probably spend, like, a good majority of your life having to carry around like just all these like random things in a bag that you won't need or be relevant to you you know in almost the near future that's just very interesting like i'm always carrying around a book bag i'm always carrying around some type of sack on my back and it always has something in it i'm always carrying something extra because oh what if i need this or what if i need that that's just very interesting. It's just kind of like making me wonder how to find ways to just be more and like more minimalist. Like that was one thing about high school too. I would just find ways to carry just like the least amount of stuff in my book bag. So it's like instead of having a folder for every single class, I might have like two folders or one folder. And then, uh, I don't know, depending on what we were doing each day in class, I would probably bring just my laptop or I would bring a laptop and a notebook or just some some paper. Uh, this like, yeah. So I don't have to always carry around so it's such a heavy book bag. Because that was one thing in elementary school. Our, I just remember our book bags were so heavy. And when I was growing up in elementary school, we had it to where we only had one teacher, basically, um, that taught every subject instead of it being like, you know, one teacher teaches uh, math and science and the other teacher teaches like history and English. This time or that time, you know, it was one teacher doing everything and we had to carry everything in that bag because we were learning every subject every day. So it would be like, you know, I don't know, first half of the class or first part of the class is dedicated to reading or math or you know, however the case may be. And I would have to carry my my they, like these thick textbooks that we used to have that probably weighed like at least five pounds so we'd have like these thick math books these thick english books these thick uh history and science books and then we'd have to carry like workbooks and then on top of that we'd have to carry notebooks and binders and folders and then all the like you know the binders and the folders filled with like whatever schoolwork that we needed um or that we had or homework things like that and then just like random stuff like a ruler scissors glue uh, pencils pens you know just whatever little accessories and we'd be like you know five six seven eight nine years old 
just carrying around all this stuff. Like, I swear, I'm surprised that, you know, I didn't have, like, a jacked back back then because I was just carrying around, like, all of these materials. And there would only be some times where it's, like, a teacher would be, like, don't bring your science book tomorrow. You don't need your science book for tomorrow. We won't be going over science. We'll be blah, 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 blah. But it, it'll still be heavy. It'll still be, like, 58 billion pounds heavy. Just carrying around some, like, huge book bag for, like, no reason. Just, it, it would, bro. Bro, it was like just, it was pointless. And it was like all, that way all the way up to middle school because at some point we ended up, we ended up getting lockers in middle school and the way lockers worked were very convenient in middle school. Um, so, you know, just in, be in between classes, you would go to your locker, switch out whichever materials you needed and then, you know, just go to your next class so that way you can only carry like, a handful of things um but what's crazy is that we would still like waiting for like waiting for our next class to start or something we would sit outside in the hallway um outside of that classroom door and we would have like just stacks of like notebooks and papers and binders still uh just kind of carrying it on our hands but that's about it you know see you guys in the next video uh hopefully this one uploads in a timely manner see you in the next one